Ladies and gentlemen, day 433 on my journey to 2000, where I play a game of chess every single day, and then put it on YouTube for folks to follow along, and I track my progress on chess.com, and here we are, still in a losing streak. I am now below 1400 after hitting a high of 1550 earlier this year. I have lost the last 13 out of 15 games, and I am uh, I'm appreciative of those folks who are letting me know they still find enjoyment from this channel, win or lose. And so as long as I've got that, and as long as I'm still having fun with the game, although it's frustrating sometimes and I beat myself up after a loss, each day is a new day, each day is a new game, and it gives me a, a reason to, to get excited again. So... On that note, let's see who I'm playing today. Ah, yes. Barataba. Barataba. 1432 out of Belgium. We've got the Scandinavian defense. They retreat the queen to d6. <clears throat> That's an interesting one. I'm going to push this pawn. This is the Gubinsky melt something variation. Obviously, I want to just continue focusing on development. Okay, releasing the pin there, castling. You know, one of the themes I think of the Scandinavian is to, is to try and get knight on b5 and then target this pawn to fork. But it's easily, let's see. They can ch just check. So let's throw in a castle first and continue development. And then maybe we'll start that attack. <clears throat> Um, now they've got two attackers on this pawn. They could easily get rid of one, so let's add another one in case they decided to take this. Okay. We've castled opposite of each other, so I'm going to go ahead and just push this pawn, start an attack on their king. Both my bishops developed. Oh, now they've got one, two, three attackers there, yeah. So let's see, tick, 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 tick. I'm still up a pawn. I've got an early jump on development. Attacking this. I can even go for a rook exchange. Um, or take the queen. Excuse me, Chica. Can you please let Emma inside? Thank you. I kind of want to keep my bishop pair, though. For 10 minutes and then uh, it'll be lunchtime, okay?
let's just do this. I don't want to spend too much time. Barataba of Belgium. Belgium, Belgium, Belgium. I could come down here. they do but I got check here and that opens up this file so it's gonna be check here back take off the exchange if they take then I can take yeah I think this is what I'm gonna do They're up upon now, though. <clears throat> this threatens mate. So, this I could probably. I say we go for the exchange. If they take here, then I've got this, threatening this. I can push this pawn. that I gotta be aware of back rank threats eventually so
ahead and address that now. So they're threatening this night, they gotta move it. Let's bring it back down here. Mm. Maybe here. Ah, but then they take. There's this, but then here. Which. and it takes the night capture here. I don't think that's I don't think that's wise. Um, either of these results in them getting this pawn. So this, this, then this take maybe this 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 and then I can defend that pawn okay <coughs> and then I'll get a nice outpost here Oh, of course. If I take here and then they come down here and fork, but this is defended, so let's do that. <clears throat> if they take here, then I've got this. Thank you. 
feel like there's got to be some some kind of tactic that I can do over here. I don't know. I, I think, or is it down, being down a pawn at this point in the game? My uh, my undoing. We'll see. But boy, could I use a win right about now. might be in my next move. It'll force something. They'll have to... Yeah, they'll have to do something because this... Okay, so they do take. And now I think I'm going to take here. If I take here and then you go here, okay, yeah. So now their king is totally exposed. I have a passed pawn here. That's already got a rook behind it. I could even retreat my bishop down here. Retreat my bishop here. The idea of just marching this pawn up. So I feel like this c4 gives me a little bit of tempo on that.
probably came to do just to get rid of a check. <clears throat> and then maybe rook here, because if they come down and attack, then I can just push. Then I can take this pawn. And let's see. Okay, so they come down there. this mm. ah darn what a good move they've got this check that's protected and they're forking my rook and my pawn Oh, and of, of course, I blunder. <laughs> Good game, Baratata. <laughs> I have now lost the last 14 out of 16 games. Check out the analysis. <laughs> All right, my opponent played with 89.6% accuracy, so I can't beat myself up too much. They only had four inaccuracies. I didn't have any blunders or misses, two mistakes, probably one when I lost a pawn and then one at the end. So let's see. The Scandinavian opening played it uh, really well. That was an inaccuracy. The engine liked. Yep, the knight to b5 move, which I thought would eventually come, but after seeing castling opposite sides, I think the best practice is just to start pushing pawns. So um, if I would have gone here, you know, they could have just retreated, giving me a little bit more of an advantage. But here is like, it's relatively the same odds. So I don't know. Um, after pushing, they take, I take back, which was, oh, that's an inaccuracy. The engine like taking back, or the engine like still targeting that queen. Uh, because then they come in and take the pawn. So this was the exchange that I didn't see. Um, if I would have taken here, then they take the pawn. And then after the exchanges are done, whoops. If I, oh, if this was a mistake. Yeah, that's the move I made, I think. So after taking the bishop, they take the pawn. This was a mistake. The best move would have been to threaten the queen. But then after captures, takes, takes, takes. This is an even game. But by taking this knight, and doing the full exchange gave black of a one advantage. Probably just because they've got their rook in the center of the board, but man. Yeah. 
I didn't see them taking that pawn. So a better move was kick the queen out. Whoops, where'd it go? Um, kick the queen out. If queen goes here, it can remain pinned, but then I can just take here. And then if they do this move, and takes, it adds a, a defender on that square. That's what it does. Attacks the queen and adds a defender. Interesting, I'll have to make sure when I study the Scandinavian, I keep this position in mind. Okay. Well, game continued, best move, great move, best move, good move, inaccuracy here, engine liked, just pushing the pawn. Um, we exchange rooks, and I've got a 2.2, or they've got a 2.2 advantage. And that's only because of the uh, pawn advantage they have. Bishop comes out, I push my pawn, make room for the king, they come in. No horrible moves here. Um, got their king pretty exposed. And then it just came down to, uh, yeah, it came down to this right here. And this mistake. Which I knew was coming. A uh, better move would have been just to defend. In my head, I was thinking, okay, if they take, I can move my king up and then have this attack. It's protected by the bishop, but I didn't realize that this came with check and a fork of the bishop. So they won. And there you have it, folks. That's this, this is how I lose to 1439 rated players and lose uh, 14 out of 16 games. I don't feel too bad about this one though. I, I think I, I I think I played, yeah, I played as if I was 1600, no blunders. Yeah, until next time.